Hey everybody, it's Scott Cranmore from 67 Music and we're out at the Newport Celtic Festival in Highland Games. Um, we're having a lot of fun here today. It's been a great, great, great time. And uh, we are joined right now with uh, Angus Richardson from the band Brother, who uh, just finished their show. You'll see, yeah, some of, you'll see some of that footage in a little bit, but he's uh, going to talk with us a little bit about the band and uh, we'll find out a little bit about them. So uh, Angus, thanks for joining us. Pleasure, Scott. Good to be here. Uh, so give us a little bit of uh, people who just are now finding out about Brother. Can you give us a little bit of history, how the band got started? And Yes, well, always played music with the two brothers and uh, we came over to America in the early 90s uh, and uh, just tried our hand at playing music here. We started street performing on the streets of LA. Three bagpipes and a, a big tribal drum kit and uh, we'd always had a rock band before that but it, it took getting onto the street to you know to pay the rent to really discover what we could do with the bagpipes and the, the didgeridoo together. My brother made himself a, a tunable didgeridoo and uh, from there the music has evolved. We always had that the elements of the bagpipes and the, and the digs there. So is, is there a conscious effort in the band when, when you're performing and coming up with the songs to put different elements from different different uh, sounds and cultures, put it all together? Or? Sometimes. Yeah. More often than not, it's just a question of honouring the... Because I consider myself more of a writer than anything. So it's it's about honouring the song itself. And, uh, but more often than not, the, the music and the, uh, the lyrics lend themselves to something a bit more eclectic with my writing. So it works out well. So uh, in these festival settings like this, you obviously reach a lot of people. Is a, Do you prefer like the festival settings or do you prefer more of a traditional like a theatre theater. Theater. That's a good question. They, they Both settings have uh, things that I really like. I, I love the intimate concert setting of a, of a theatre show. Um, a pub show is great too, a packed sweaty pub. You know, you can't really hear yourself sing sometimes, but uh, it's still got a charm. And a festival like this is just great too, because you have all ages here and the vibe's fantastic, especially in a place like Newport. It reminds me of uh, being at the beach in Australia, because <laughs> you've got the coast just, just over there. You yeah. smell the sea, I love it. Yeah, and the wind. Yeah. Of <laughs> um, so yeah, um, in these type of settings like this, you got a lot of audience participation going on. That, that's got to be that's got to be great, you know, as a as an artist and as a musician to have everybody uh, participating with your songs and uh, following back everything that you're doing. Yeah, it completes the circle. There's nothing better than having the, the audience sing along. Yeah, yeah. Well. People who are not here today, how can they find out more about Brother? What's the website we can go to? Online, we live at brothermusic.com. And we've got Facebook and... We can give you links to all that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but come and check us out at brothermusic.com. Excellent. So I know that you said you're flying out again. Where, where are we headed to next? Uh, we fly down to LA, then drive up to Avila Beach, it's called, near yeah. San Luis Obispo in Southern California for a, an Irish festival. Right. Yeah. It sounds like it's a lot of fun. Well, I certainly appreciate you taking the time to talk with us a little bit. Once again, it's brothermusic.com. Go there, check them out, find out where, where they're going to be playing near you. And thank you very much, Angus, for Pleasure, Scott, with us. mate. Yeah, nice appreciate talking it. with you, mate. All right. Yeah, have see you next time.